How about now? Good or no? I can Oh, okay. I had it. I had my microphone on the wrong setting. It's got phone and camera. So let me put that down so I don't make no noise. Hi, I love you, TikToks. Uh, thank you. So today, like I was saying before anybody can hear me, I said we're going to do a taste test. The sweet potato, chips, chili, and lime puff chips things, and some plantain chips. I never had a plantain chips. Before and some Cheetos jalapeno puff wheels thing. Okay, let me do some of this over. We're gonna try this nice haircut. Thank you. I got my haircut a uh, Friday. And today's video, we're doing um, a taste test for everybody who's joining and can hear me. Mm. It really don't have a smell to it. That's what it looks like. That's what it is. You can kind of see through it. It's good when I first took a bite, or I only tasted jalapeno, and it's not hot at all. Taste test all my favorite videos of yours. Thank you. I love doing. Taste test, mukbangs, I got a new table I bought a couple weeks ago. Now, these sweet potato chips is very interesting. Hi, Tyler. Hi, everybody. Has anybody ever had sweet potato chips before? OMG, you, you, oh, the thing went. You're my favorite TikToker and YouTuber. Oh, uh, especially my taste test videos, huh? Yeah, I, knocking stuff over. I haven't, uh, did a live video. In a minute, love sweet potato chips. Is the sweet potato chips gonna be like sweet tasting or like normal? Cause I don't want something that tastes real sweet like candy. Yeah, I had I went to the store today. And they was out of legs, so I was at the store, and I have a foam cup with a plastic lid that don't even fit on my cup. Not really, they kind of taste just like, oh, okay. So... How is, is everybody getting a storm today because it's storming where I live at. We have like tornado watch today. Ah, uh, this is a rip off. Y'all. 
they filled half of the bag with chips. I think it could have fit in a bag like this. Look, see? Uh-uh. That was that. Right here, that's how much they filled. Really? And the chips kind of look burnt. Oh, uh, uh, them sweet potato chips are gross. They didn't. Boy, whatever company made that, it tasted burnt. Why ain't my comments showing up? The chips, the air, they pretty bad. OMG. Yes. Yeah, that, <laughs> them chips was uh, gross. Hey, let's go with chili or in line. Okay, you guys want me to taste Chili and lime, put one in the chat for chili and the lime puff chips, and put two in the chat for the plantain chips. Okay, there's a one. One. Uh oh, the chili and lime. Chip might win. Oh, uh, it tastes like lime me more chili. Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, maybe I made a mistake. Like I like lime, but I don't want to taste nothing but lime. Okay. We're gonna taste the lime chips because I see nothing but limes. Y'all wish me luck. What do you have? I am, uh, for those who join in, I'm doing a taste test. I already tasted the jalapeno poppy. Chips and like sweet potato chips. Now I'm tasting lime chips. Well, at least they filled it up and they got a heck of a lot of seasoning. Oh. Okay, oh, <laughs> kind of stolen. Okay, let's do it. Get it over with. Oof. That's a no-go. Yeah, you are right. It's too much lime. Ugh. Too much lime for me. Ugh.
Okay, hopefully the plantain chips is good because we kind of have a winning, but we kind of don't. I like them jalapeno things a little bit, but kind of not, if that makes sense. Have you guys ever had some, but you kind of like it, but you kind of don't like it? So, I'm on the fence. Wait a I would like to go see that island in person. Okay, it don't have no smell. I'm guess I guess it's just plain. If they come in other flavors, I don't know. Kinda looks like banana chips. Like I like banana chips, that's what it looks like. Did you get those at Quick Trip? No, unfortunately, I didn't. Okay. Maybe somebody tasting these chips. The one, the plantain chips don't have, like, no salt on it. No taste. It's just plain. Oh, hey. Okay, y'all. That's the end of the taste test. Where are you from? I am uh, from Illinois. You guys want to ask me a little bit of questions? We can do a little Q&A video too. Do you like anime? Well, I actually watch anime video, like movies and shows. I watched this one called Ghost in a Shell. That was pretty good. But I'm not, I like that when they speak English. So I'm not really that anime type of person. You guys see that lightning in the window? It's storming. Yeah, so I really don't watch anime but i like pokemon and i didn't know that was anime and someone asks do you like basketball no i do not like it i don't like that but i kind of like soccer because when i was younger i used to play soccer and stuff me either. How was your day? My day was amazing. I uh, went to a family member's house, ate uh, breakfast slash lunch, so kind of brunch over at her house, visit. Then I came home and I went to the laundry mat, washed my clothes, and came home and did a YouTube video. I follow your Instagram. Thank you for following my Insta. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram, it's Tyler Savage five seven seven. I have on like my TikTok and YouTube. I have the same pro profile picture. Cause I was watching a video that said always keep your same profile picture on like your Instagram and you have a YouTube or your TikTok. So like me, when you guys comment, I would recognize like your pictures from like Instagram and 
or from TikTok and, you know, stuff like that. And they said keep, like, your same name. But I thought that was pretty cool. How's your garden? My garden is doing pretty good. I, um, my lilies is, you know, getting ready to bloom and everything. And my, you know, my little seeds I planted, I got from Dollar Tree in the box is kind of coming up in my winter sowing. I have flowers and stuff coming up and everything. I did an update video on my TikTok and I have a plant garden, a plant, why well, this post nothing but plant content, Instagram, it's all plants, 12, and everything. So yeah, I'll be posting on there like my plants and stuff like that. I think I posted either today or yesterday about the uh, tulips. I meant tulips. Did I say lilies? Tulips getting ready to bloom. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm getting them confused. Do you grow peppers? Yes, I grow peppers. I love bell peppers. I eat bell peppers like apples. And I have some old seeds of banana peppers. I don't know if they're going to grow or not. I like banana peppers and I have bablano peppers growing. Bablano peppers is pretty good on pizza. And if you never had it, it's kind of spicy. And I didn't know that. I'm like, ooh, this is spicy. Hmm. Any more questions? Yeah, I can't believe it's a uh, storming out. Banana peppers are good on pizza. Yes, I love banana peppers on pizza. When I was younger, I used to eat banana peppers out the jar and just eat it. Which, I don't know why I did that, but I did. And one time, me and my dad walked to the gas station, bought all kinds of candy boys. What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movies, y'all. I really love musicals, that genre based on true stories. But my all-time favorite movie is Grease and Grease 2. And recently... A couple years ago, I watched Rent, so that's on my list. I have all kinds of movies I like. I like The Leprechaun. That's a scary movie. You can watch that on, um, I think it's an app called Peacock. For free, you look like it about to storm here in Missouri. Too. Yeah, I'm not too far from Missouri. I'm just on... The other side in Illinois. Yeah, like, it's, like, rained, and it quit, then it came down, and, yeah. Love your confidence. Thank you. Yeah, here, let me lift this up. See my table, y'all? I bought... I got that at Walmart for 20 bucks. I missed the rain. Yeah, here in the Midwest, it be raining, and next thing you know, it's snowing, then it's not. What? Oh. Come on, chat. Pop up. The chat keeps disappearing. Yeah, in a couple years, I'll be moving to California. My goal is three years. 
So really, I only got like two years to go because I'm having this year and stuff. Ooh, it's lightning out there, y'all. You see my plants hanging in the window? That's the plant I got at Lowe's for one dollar three, and that's the plant I took a cutting off of. And then little hanging things that I got from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I seen on TikTok. Are you scared of tornadoes? Yes, I'm scared of tornadoes. One time, my house does not have a basement, and I couldn't go to the bathroom because we have a window where a tub is. It's a window big like my bedroom window, and it was storming real bad. Tornado sirens was going off. I was like 15 at this time. I literally got a book bag. I put some band-aids, peroxide, some, uh, that alcohol stuff, like, so you can disinfect stuff, R rubbing alcohol, that's what it's called, and some food, and I love a couple of those toilet paper, then I had dogs and a bird at this time, I got the birds some food, and dogs some food, and I put the birds in the cage, in the closet with with me and the dogs in the closet. Hey Tyler. Hi Liberty. How are you doing? Yeah, like I was like 15. I'm like, oh my god, hush. A storm. I had to get in my closet. That's crazy. Has anybody ever uh, almost had a tornado when you was younger? When you was little, I watched this tornado chase story thing on TV, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how they can, my phone's vibrating, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how they can, uh, chase after a storm, I'll be so scared. My friend was texting me. She said she missed my story. Well, I was telling about how I was like 15 and we almost had a tornado. So I got my uh, bird and my dogs and I made me a kit. I got peroxide, a book bag. I filled it with food, toilet paper, rubbing alcohol. I got the birds some food and the dogs some food and I went in the closet because we almost had that tornado. Yeah, we had a tornado when I lived in PA. I was a kid too. Haha, <laughs> made you look. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Them tornadoes, I can't do, and my house does not have a basement. And, and I can't go to the bathroom because it's got a big window, like I said, in that bathroom, that big. I'm like, oh my god, I, uh-uh. Like, can't go nowhere. Liberty, I got this at Walmart, this little microphone. It connects to your phone, but I don't know how uh, to connect it. If you're looking for a microphone, it was like, I think, 14 bucks. Pretty affordable. What if you had... What if you had to pee? Well, I just went to the bathroom and went peed. Because I didn't, you know, I can't go to the bathroom because, you know, oh, nice mic. Thank you. Like, I got an iPhone. I think it will work on iPhones. It just hook into where you have headphones. And they have one where you can connect it to you, a small one. So I got this so people can hear me. Better. 
send me that mic. <laughs> I just got the mic. Uh, when did I get? Uh, I think a week ago, maybe. I made a TikTok. I think about it when I did my little ASMR. That when was that? A week ago, y'all. Yeah, I think it was a week. Yeah, it works pretty good. I was doing some ASMR, like I said, on TikTok. I like, okay, it's ASMR time, y'all. Hi, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna talk normal now. The ASMR segment is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I crack myself out. I see people typing. Oh, you thought you can? I can use mic on my phone. I have two phones. I have phone where I do my YouTube videos and my normal cellular device. I crack myself up too. <laughs> yes. I be, has anybody ever been in public and you think about something happened like a couple months ago or like that day something funny and you just bust out laughing and people are looking at you like, are you okay? Oh, what the hell? Like, why are you laughing? What's so funny? You have to enjoy what you are doing, or no else will enjoy your content. Yes, the ASMR segment is over. Haha, <laughs> yes. Been there all the time. My um chat. It's like when people type it, you know, shows up, then it just appears like when nobody's not typing. Yeah, I really love doing YouTube and TikTok and everything. What, guys, I have a question for you in the chat. On the live stream and when the live stream is over and you get this boy right in the comments below after this video upload and tell me where do you guys see yourself in five years like what is your goals for five years I, while you guys are typing in everything, I'm going to say where I see myself in five years. Okay, in five years, I see myself living in a beautiful house with marble countertops in the kitchen. And I really want a house with two stairwells. Like when you first walk in, it's got it coming up. I really want a house like that. And... I be living in LA and my YouTube cover is taking off, my TikTok is taking off and I'm financially stable and I won't have to worry about nothing like struggling or anything and hopefully I either adopted my first child because I want to adopt an older kid around six years old and up, and I, I'm in the process of adopting maybe another kid or my first kid. I'm 26 right now, so I'll be about 30, so that's a good time to start having kids. LA baby, all day, every day, no other way. <laughs> yes. People tell me all the time, those like, why do you want to live in L.A.? I said, because it's got better opportunity. And where I live at, don't really have opportunity and ain't nothing here to do. 
I'm young. I want to explore. Like, if I don't like LA, I can, like, say, for instance, move to somewhere else. Like, say, move to Ohio or New York or somewhere if LA don't fit my lifestyle or I don't like it. Like, me too. Yes. Like, I don't know, like, my cousin one time told me people in L.A. are rude. I said, that's not everybody. Everybody's not rude. Just because one person is rude don't mean everybody in the whole state is rude. The Midwest is boring. Yes, I live in the Midwest. And only thing I cited around here is our weather. Tell your cousin... You're rude. Yeah, she kind of pretty much say what's on her mind. Yeah, the Midwest man. I don't know. First it's summer, then it's winter, then we're having a blizzard, then we're not having a blizzard. It's a mess around here. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't no. Let me. Eh. I was going to get something, but never mind. So, what did uh, everybody do today? Anything exciting you did this weekend? Did you do some? You have any fun plans? This summer, if you're in school, when you get out of school, or if you're in, like, working, and you're getting, like, on a vacation, you have anything exciting? I'm here from TikTok. Yes, thank you for following my YouTube channel. I think that's... What is this? There's something on the bottom of the camera. Oh, I can... Huh? Oh, it's filters. Oh my god. Okay, let's go back to normal. I love the plants. Thank you. I have a whole bunch of plants. Over here. Hey, let me get pink. Oh my gosh. The, ooh, this is heavy. See, she's big. I did a YouTube video about when I first got this plant. Gonna have to be transplanting it in a bigger pot pretty soon. Ooh, that looks like it's... I might have to turn that later. Because I don't want it to um, be lopsided. It's pink. Yes, I named her pink. That's really called a Chinese, uh, a Chinese plant. Something, something Chinese plant. Oh, I'm colorblind. Oh, that's sad. But basically, the whole plant is green and pink around the edges and the stem is pink. And I named her Pink. If you guys can see this, hold up. Well, this picture off to the side right here, you can see my grandma when she was younger. I think maybe like 30s, 40 years ago when my grandma was alive. And I don't know when that was, but that was when my second cousin was, I, I want to say maybe seven. So if she could have been, my grandma could have been 40 something. Now my cousin is 37, 30, she's 30 something. 
And my grandma said a long time ago, when she was alive, when I was little, she had that picture painted with uh, paint uh, oil, that portrait. And she told me it was expensive, like when she paid for it. Because it had um, the little portrait of them with some kind of, I guess, special paint. I'm not too sure. I want to grow tea leaves. Go for it. I don't have no experience in that. Do watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's why I got my plant knowledge and my grandma was, um, love plants. Bless your heart. It's adorable. Thanks. Yeah, like, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I watched gardening shows, which I love gardening shows and shows on how to build houses and stuff. I want to, one of these days, maybe learn how to work on a house, like hang drywall up, hang siding up, put a roof on, and put insulation in, wiring, plumbing, maybe. Yep, that's where I grew all my uh, plant knowledge from. I started growing a garden when I was, I think, 15. It was right after my grandma passed away, I think a year or months later or something. Not too sure. Does anybody in the chat have any house plants or any memories of your mom or your grandparents having house plants? I mean one time I went down to my grandpa house, my grandpa's house and I was down there for like the summer a week or so and me and my little brother and him we was having a barbecue and after the barbecue he had a throw a throwaway barbecue grill and like he threw it away or he told us to throw, throw it away and it caught some trash cans on fire and someone was going down the road said oh my gosh trash cans is on fire but they got it put out before it got out of control and they moved the trash cans across the street because they live like in a real small country town like when i tell you he lived in a small town like i walked from his house to the grocery store because I walked past his main highway and it had a grocery store and a store named Fudge is like a Dollar General and everything next to each other then up the street was two gas stations that's it and the hospital was down the street from the grocery store but I was in this grocery store and some lady came up to me and asked me to said my grandpa's name, said, are you his grandson? I'm like, yes. I'm like, who are you? She said, like, I didn't, that's what I was saying. I'm like, uh, yes, who are you? But I don't know. I'm like, how did she know me? That's crazy. I never seen her around there before. So, I guess she was down there and seen some pictures of me or something. Have you seen the indoor gardens with the lights? No, I haven't seen that. Where is it at? Is it in St. Louis? Maybe you guys look alike. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I can't believe it's storming. You can see lightning every now and then. Hmm. I'm hot. I'm about to have to turn a fan on after my life is over. I don't know. It's stuffy up in this bedroom. So, you guys watch any good movies?
this weekend or today or yesterday. Because I usually, I love watching movies and stuff, which I probably either watch a movie today or tomorrow because I need to film a mukbang video. Hi, I am late. Yes. We done did a taste test. We done did a little story time and all. While I watched Pony. I never watched that. Is that um like a cartoon? I think I heard about that. And they like them little like a hoist or something and they talk to each other like the I think like the Care Bears or something. Like I loved the Care Bears when I was younger and Barney. Like I was like obsessed with Barney. Like I had Barney movies. I had this one movie of Barney I really liked. I think it was an Easter, a Easter one because they had a hunt of a like a magic egg and stuff. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie, but I don't know what it was called. And I really like Scooby Doo. I haven't watched that in a minute. I should watch it because every now and then I watch cartoons. Like, I like Hey Arno, I haven't watched Arthur in a long time, Cyber Chase, I used to watch when I came to my grandma's house on PBS, Maya and Miguel, uh, what's that one, Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales was my favorite. My Life as a Teenage Robot. Yes, I love that cartoon. My Life as a Teenage Robot was the show. That was a good show. Yes, you know, sometimes you can find them old shows here on YouTube. Just type in for shows of, like, say, I'm going to use My Teenage Robot. Use for show of my teenager robot and sometimes you can find a whole episode or like sometimes they be live streaming I think very eye parents one time I seen um Spongebob there's this one cartoon I never watched Mr. Bing or yeah some Bing or something I don't know some Apparently, I think he's British or something. Because me and my friend were just talking about it. Said he didn't talk or something. And he's got a cartoon. Yeah, I watched this one show on uh, the C, not CW, um, Cartoon Network. Um, what's the name of that show? It's kids. And they lived in a tree house, and the name was Numbers, um, something backyard kids, or... Crap, if you guys know what I'm talking about, it had a kid in a red sweater, he was bald-headed, he was a head person, his name was Number One, had sunglasses on, and... It wasn't, um, it was boys and girls, like, mixed and stuff in this cartoon. And I watched this one cartoon on the CW, yeah, not CW, there was cartoons on the CW. No, I don't think, they were like superheroes, I don't know. Hey, uh, but hmm, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna move on from it, cause I'm gonna just keep thinking about it. Like I like Coach Cowley Dog, and Eddie was my favorite. Johnny Bravo, um, did I already say Coach the Cowley Dog? I don't think I did. Hmm. 
Billy and Mandy. Yes, I love Billy and Mandy. That was a good show. Yeah, I used to watch all of them uh, shows, and you should watch on Netflix. I might. I kind of like cartoons, like little kids, like shows sometimes. I really like my old shows. I used to watch the 90s, 2000s shows like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I remember Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I was watching Disney Channel and I was watching something and the commercial came up. It said, a new show, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody is going to come on, say, Tuesday at 7 o'clock or whatever time it was. Oh, I, a picture is crooked. But anyway, I was like, I seen that. I said, I'm going to watch that. And I bet you yeah, her, I would like, I would like that show. And I liked it. And I watched The Sweet Life on deck. But I didn't watch it as much as Zach and Cody. Because when Sweet Life on deck came on, I didn't have cable. No more. And I watched this one show. Uh, what name was that one show? Well, I done forgot. But I watched this movie called uh, The Look of the Irish. That was a good show. Disney Channel had some good movies. Well, y'all, I'm going to end the live video. Thank you guys for joining my live video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn that bell notifications on. And give me a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Halloween Town is good. Yes, I love Halloween Town. Halloween Town, um... I watched this one type show. It have it was like Halloween Town, but I don't know what it was called. It was like a cartoon that came on uh, either Disney or Cartoon Network. It had like a little uh, kid and a witch up in there, a skeleton. Have a good night. It was so fun. Thank you. You guys have a good night. And be on the lookout for a new YouTube video. I think I'm going to post a new video of a mukbang. I think Wednesday or Thursday. One and It's going to be later on this week. I imagine. But have an awesome rest of your night. And remember you are amazing. And thank you for joining my live.